Hey guys, this is Corey Helmerks here with uh, the Dream Team, and I'm going to give you a little, um, I'm going to shoot a video real quick, and uh, a lot of people have no clue, not, not necessarily no clue, a lot of people don't understand and uh, just don't quite get listing integration, um, or don't understand how it works, uh, don't understand just what it does necessarily in general. Um, so I'm going to make this video to kind of give you an idea, kind of show you a little bit more in detail of what it does and uh, how it will benefit you in DS. Now, uh, just so you guys know right off the bat, uh, I'm going to show you a lot of images here. Uh, not a lot, but I'll show you a few images. There's a lot of blurring in these images. Like, you're going to get sick almost. But <laughs> the only reason is, as you can see in this image I'm showing you right now, is a lot of blurring. But I have to blur out uh, information to protect my eBay account. Um, also, I cannot show you the names of the uh, elite suppliers that are within listing integration. So I had to blur those out and I had to blur out the ASIA numbers just uh, to protect myself. Um, so you guys will see a lot of blurring, but I will make sure that you understand the process, understand how it's done. Uh, be pretty simple. Uh, first off, I want to start with how you get to this point right here, listing integration. First, what you want to do, this is a dummy DS account, so you won't see any information here. Uh, you want to go into DS Insights and hit the dashboard. In here, you're going to be able to generate a token. And what this token does, once you click it, it's going to go over to eBay, and uh, it's going to say, Hey, eBay, I want to hook up with you. Like, I want to change stuff on this person's account, and uh, I, want to, yeah, I want to make sure this dude makes tons of money. And eBay is going to go, Tons of money? What? Okay, sure. <laughs> so... It's going to talk to eBay, eBay's going to talk to it, and that's what the token's all about. Okay, next thing you're going to hit is listing integration. You're going to be taken over to this screen right here. Uh, right here, which funnily enough is that right there. Um, all you're going to hit is import listings. Okay, import listings right here. Uh, and now all of your eBay, um, eBay listings are going to pop in here, just like this. In my image here. All right. Now I'll show you the process of what you do right here. So once you import listings here, you're going to get all these listings that are going to pop up in a row, all the way down right here, and uh, 10 per page. Okay. Now, what do you do with them after that? What you're going to do is you're going to uh, you're going to tell integration where your item's coming from, what's your item number of your item, what profit you want to make on that item. That's all you got to do. Set it and forget it, kind of like the dude in that uh, Easy Bake Oven thing or whatever the heck that was on TV. He's like, set it and forget it, you know? Okay, that was stupid. But <laughs> anyways, you're going to tell it what to do. You're going to tell listing integration how to manage your listing. So let's say for this first one, it's got Amazon right here. Um, Amazon right here. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go get the ASIN number. And let me show you that real quick. You're going to pop over here to Amazon in your product details right here, which is on every single Amazon item page. Okay, you're going to see this ASIN number right here. What you're going to do is you're going to copy that ASIN number. You're going to toss it in this box right here. It says ASIN item ID. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to knock one error out right here. A lot of people are having questions saying, hey, I put that ASIN number in there, and... It popped up with an error and said, hey, you know, your your ASIN has to be formatted like this or like this. The reason for that error is you have a space before or after the ASIN number in the box. If you have a space before or after, it's going to kick it back. Uh, so make sure you don't have any spaces in there. Problem solved. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to put your profit. Now, you can either do it by dollar amount or by percentage. I don't do it in per percentage personally. That's just how I do things. So I'm not going to show you percentage in this video. I should have probably done that just for uh, video's sake, but I honestly just posted on Facebook about 30 minutes ago, who wants to see a video on this? And like 30 people went, me, me, me. So rather than get stuff ready for a little test, I figured I'd go ahead and get it out as quick as possible. But you'll get the gist. So by dollar amount is what I use. You're going to put what dollar amount you'd like to make on that item right here. Now the next error I'm going to kick out right here. We get lots of messages that say, hey, so I put my ASIA numbers in there, 
and I went to the next page on integration and I came back to the first page I was just at and all my numbers and stuff are gone like what the heck the reason the numbers and stuff are gone are you didn't hit this change button right here that change button is actually a save button which is going to be switched to a save button soon not exactly sure when but it's in the works so you want to make sure you hit that change button after you do every line hit the change button okay pretty simple so now what you've done is you put your source in you put your item ID you put your profit and you've hit the save button so what, what is it going to do now now a couple times a day I don't know exactly how many times a day I want to say it's two or three or four times a day integration is going to go out to your supplier which is in this case Amazon It's going to say hey Amazon um, how much is this item? And Amazon's going to say, hey, it's this much. And integration's going to go, hmm, okay, well, I have to adjust his price to this to make his profit of, in this case, $9 right here. So it's going to go over to eBay. It's going to switch it, switch up your uh, listing price for you. Now, another question we get from a lot of people, a lot, and this is where I have more examples to show. We get questions all the time as, hey, I don't understand, you know, listing integration changed my price either up or down to this number. Why? Why did it do that? I don't, I don't get it. Okay, I'm going to show you an email I got right here. Um, some of your listing prices have changed. The current price is $219 on my supplier. My new eBay price is $282.91. Now let's flip back. Let's find the one right here that's $282.91, right here. Now I've set it to make a profit of $12. So let's pull up the handy dandy calculator. So $282.91. Now listing integration figures in 18% for fees. That's 10% for eBay, 2.9% for PayPal, and the rest kind of goes towards if you have any taxes or anything like that on Amazon or any of the elite suppliers. Amazon more so than the others, but you know. So 282.91 times 18% that uh, that that listing integration is going to figure in that you're going to pay in fees. So that's 50.92. So 282.91 minus 50.92 is going to bring you down to 31.99. What was my supplier price? 219.99. Minus two nineteen ninety nine. Look what it's making me. Twelve dollars. What did I tell it I wanted to make? Twelve dollars. Perfect. So I'm gonna make twelve dollars regardless. Now, if your item goes up, item price goes up, it's gonna move your eBay price up. If your item price goes down, your eBay price is gonna move down. That's just how it works. Um, most people don't understand you're telling integration you want to make this amount or this percentage so why does it lower my price well it lowers your price because you tell it you wanted to make this amount it's gonna make sure you make this amount pretty simple let's do one more right here it's an Amazon Amazon item um, current Amazon price 43.99 new eBay price 64.62 so let's go back here right here 6462 where is that at right here 6462 so let's just figure 6462 times the 18% in fees you're gonna pay 1163 okay so you have 5299 and what was that item price 4399 nine dollars what I tell it I wanted to make nine dollars it switched it to make nine bucks okay so I just showed you with two suppliers it's working perfectly now what I'm gonna do is answer some questions on um, questions we've had that have to do with integration that people are kind of having problems with um, when a price has changed how long does it take to update when a price changes the integration goes out numerous times a day, it checks your prices, it changes them, just like that. Um, where can I find the ASIN number? I already showed you that, but it's right here under product details.
Um, if the price drops on Amazon, will our listing price also drop based on what we put them in a, in a profit field? Yes. If your item price on Amazon drops, your listing will drop in price. Plain and simple. Will integrations end my listing if it goes out of stock? Yes, it will. If it sees that your listing is out of stock, if your item's out of stock, it's gone. It will send you an email, say, hey, we deleted this. Okay? How do you get new listings into listing integration? Very good question. If you have this pulled up here, and let's say you listed these 10 items, and let's say you went and, uh, went and listed 10 more. That import listings button, boom, hit it. That's all it takes. And your new listings will pop up, and you can switch, you can put the information in those. Um, one of the other, I have, think I have two other big errors that a lot of people are getting, or errors or just misunderstandings um, that people are getting, and I'll get those out of the way. A lot of people are messaging and they're saying, hey, you know, I can't, I hit flush ended listings, you know, my items have ended, I hit flush ended listings and they're not going away. No, they're not going to go away. What the problem is, is in eBay, you have these categories right here under your dashboard, okay? See this unsold category right here? Once your items go out of your, uh, are ended or you end them, they go into an unsold category right here, okay? Even though they're ended, listing integration is still watching those items no matter what. Um, listing integration is still watching the items to see if you're going to relist them because if you relist it, integration is going to pick up that relist and it's going to leave a, it's going to pick up right where you left off with your profit price, your item ID, your source. So integration is still looking at the unsold category. So if you go into the unsold category and you delete all the items out of there, then you go into integration and hit flush ended listings, they will immediately be gone. They will be gone just like that. Um, that takes care of that. That's one of the big questions. Um, if for some reason you do get duplicates of items, which I'm not understanding how that's happening, there's this little remove button. Just remove it. It's pretty simple. But I think that flush ended listings thing should help a lot of you. Um, the other error or the other misunderstanding people are having is um, hey, I had this item on here in integration, and integration dropped my item price like drastically what happened I mean I don't what happened okay I've actually analyzed about 12 to 15 of these in the last three days of this same problem people are saying hey my price dropped like crazy what's going on let's take a look at this Amazon item I have pulled up here okay if you notice this says ships from and sold by Bry Lane home Correct? So that item is not being shipped by Amazon. It's not sold by Amazon. It's just not shipped or fulfilled by Amazon. So this is individual sellers here that are selling on Amazon that are selling this item for $29.99 plus $7.99 shipping. Okay? In the DS Domination training, you're trained not to use individual sellers on Amazon. So, integration does not work with individual sellers on Amazon because you're not supposed to be sourcing from those sellers. Okay, So, if you put this item ASIN number in here to track, it's going to track it, but it's going to track that $29.99 price. It's not going to track your $7.99 shipping on top of that. And that is where I had two cases last night that I analyzed, and that's exactly what happened. They were sourcing from somebody who was not shipped or fulfilled by Amazon, so their price went down, they lost money on it, and they weren't happy. And they asked why they weren't happy, or why it did that. This is exactly why it did that, because they were sourcing from somebody who was not shipped or fulfilled by Amazon, so listing integration was not seeing the shipping charge. So from now on, 
if you are using people from Amazon who is individual sellers like this, just don't. <laughs> the way Roger teaches in the training, he teaches you not to do this. So just to be safe and protect you from being mad because you lost money and to protect me and some of the leaders from having to answer those questions, just don't list them. Okay. Perfect. All right. What other questions did I have? Um, after deleting my token, I was able to create another one. However, none of my listings were integration. That's right. Uh, when you delete your token or disconnect your account from integration, uh, if you do a new token, your ASIN numbers and everything will be will be gone. You will have to put them all back in. Oh, let's see. Do, 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 do. When a price change is made, do you just hit change or do you have to hit refresh? Um, when a price change is made, you don't have to do anything, actually. Because when the price change is made, it does it automatically. I think I understood that right. Do, do, do. What's the step-by-step -step instructions for adding a product? I already showed you that. Where do you find the sign? I already showed you that. Can integrations be used in the United Kingdom? That is a 100% no at the moment. At the moment. No, it cannot. Will it be able to in the future? Yes. Right now, integration can only be used in the United States. Um, it's only set up for the United States suppliers right now due to the APIs and all that. Um, so it's only working in the United States right now. Okay, I want to make this video kind of short. I'm going on 17 minutes. That's not short. <laughs> so I hope I've addressed a lot of concerns about integrations. If you have any questions about integrations, please put them below this video. I will answer them. I don't want negative posts below this video. Please refrain from that. Um, if you have genuine questions you'd like answered, post them. I will answer them. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot. Hope you uh, got some value out of this. Um, and uh, talk to you soon.